Hello, my little loves. My name is Bailey Spin, and I know I have never made a long form video today, but here we are, and I'm actually making one because today is very, very exciting. Today I am shooting my first ever music video, and I'm a little bit crazy, so I'm doing my own hair and makeup. So we're gonna go through the process, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to get my hair looking good and to get my makeup also looking good. I'm gonna start with my hair. I actually curl my hair with a straightener, kind of odd. I find that when I use a straightener, I can make the curls exactly how I want them to look. I just take the piece and then I flip and then drag all the way down. And then when you let it go, it looks like that. You think I would be nervous because this is extreme? This is a music video. I think I feel ready for it because this is my song and this is the final step before we can actually post it and like put out a release date on Spotify, which is super, super scary. I'm really trying to hone in my rock star aesthetic. I'm just excited to slay. Like, I think I'm genuinely gonna do a really, really good job. And I'm just gonna keep saying that because if you say good things, I'm just gonna manifest them, right? <laughs> Should we do a little coffee taste test? See if she's good. Oh, it's still very, <gasps> my man just texted me. <laughs> I really hope I'm getting the back of my head. I guess I'm gonna have to check. Okay guys, you're gonna have to be so real and tell me if the back of my head is curled. I feel like it's not. I'm just <laughs> putting that energy out there. I don't think it's curled. I'm gonna finish this side off camera. Just gonna like speed run this side real quick and then we're gonna come back and do my makeup too. I have finished my hair. This is honestly the best it has ever looked like this. I did a very good job. Now it is time to move on to my makeup. I am most excited for the makeup. I am a beauty guru at heart and I always will be. I literally grew up watching makeup tutorials. I'm starting with a little bit of skin prep. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've already moisturized and washed my face for the morning. I also have on the Laneige Lip Mask. The moisturizer I've been using recently is the Drunk Elephant Purple one and it has made my skin look absolutely amazing. I definitely still have some acne marks but they've been getting way Better. Now I'm just gonna go in with my little NARS pot concealer and I use my finger to go ahead and cover up any red marks I have. I love this concealer so much and I recommend it to literally anyone that has acne. I just do this to even my skin tone. Now that my skin tone is even, I'm gonna let it dry for a second so that when we put on the foundation, it's not gonna be moving all around, you know? I just got new beauty blenders for this too because I'm a dirty little should I never clean my beauty blender? So today we are using a clean one. So I take my little mixing palette and today I'm gonna use the Tom Ford foundation and the NARS Radiant Light Reflecting. They look really beautiful when I mix them together. So I'm just gonna do two pumps of Tom Ford, kind of the same amount of the NARS one. And we'll just give her a quick little blend with my finger. And then I'm just gonna swipe onto my face. I love makeup. This beauty blender is so nice. These are by Juno & Co. I'm obsessed. This is such a good foundation mix, but I started using Tom Ford and I really, really, really loved it. Unfortunately, I just happen to love like the most expensive foundation you can buy. For concealer, I'm using my absolute holy grail. This is the Hourglass, Glass, I can't say it. Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It really does make everything vanish. I just blend out with my beauty blender. Just gonna blend. Look at that conceal. So good. Oh my God, my eyes itching. Girl, no, I j please, please, I literally just did foundation. Oh my God, why is it itching? Stop. Girl, I can't itch my eye. I'm, oh. oh my God, see, that's why I can't itch it. I just messed up all the concealer. Oh my God, stop, please. Okay, just gonna pretend like it's not, not doing that right now. It's time for us to contour. I think today I'm gonna use my trusty Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Mocha. I go pretty high on my face because I just really love the snatched cheekbone effect. I just wanna look like I have a facelift and I cannot afford that. So we're gonna do it with some contour. This is how I do my nose contour. It's very important because I also blend it out with my finger, which sounds a little bit odd, but like trust the process, I swear. And then I always blend my contour upwards and don't drag it onto the bottom half of my face. For the nose contour, I just take these two little lines and I blend them out with my finger going upwards, matching them right to the start of this eyebrow. For blush, we are gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. I also blend this out with my finger just so I get the best color payoff and I don't absorb any of it with the sponge. Look at how beautiful that is when I blend it out with my finger. 10 out of 10 recommend. I just know I'm gonna like absolutely nail this too. I think I'm gonna do incredible in this music video and I think it's gonna be iconic. 
Recently also, I have been feeling so much more confident about my body because I started going to the gym again. Once I started going back, my confidence just went <laughs> as it should. I'm just gonna conceal a teeny weeny little bit on the nose. This is a crucial part to the nose contour too because it just cleans it up and makes it look a little bit less messy. I'm just gonna make sure it's seamless with my little beauty blender. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the blush because when you're behind lights and cameras and everything, it just makes your makeup, it makes it less. I don't know how to explain it, but all the heavy lights really kind of drown you out. I'm mainly scared to do my eyes because I have to do eyeliner, I'm a rock star. Givenchy. She, I'm so fancy. This is my Prism Libre Givenchy powder. The only reason I actually got this one was because it has color quadrants that are supposed to color correct your face. I'm just gonna bake underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna follow on the sides of my nose so that we can snatch my contour right up. I'm gonna set all the places on my face where I get oily. I have really oily skin. I don't know, I like using dewy products, but I'm kind of sad that trend came back because I'm a matte makeup girl all the way. See how that completely blurred out my whole forehead in like 12 seconds? I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I use the Benefit Brow Pencil. This is shade three. I mostly fill in towards the tail because I got them microbladed and then none of the ink stayed. But when I was 16, I fell victim to the cutting a slit in your eyebrow trend. Instead of shaving them, I plucked them. I wish I could go literally slot my 16 year old self. I finished the brows. They are so good looking today. I'm so glad that today they decided to cooperate. I need these brows to stay in place all day. So we're gonna do the e.l.f. clear brow lift. I'm just gonna define my nose a little bit more with some contour. This is a bronzer I use, butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. It has sparkles in it. I'm gonna start with my eye and I'm just gonna take some brown and smoke out my outer corner a little bit. We're gonna blend this brown out with a fluffy brush. Gorgeous, tell me this base doesn't look absolutely incredible right now. Oh my God, no, no. <coughs> I'm really glad I did not have mascara or anything movable on my face yet. That would have been so tragic. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this brown on a fluffy brush. I'm just trying to give my eye a little cat eye effect. I'm gonna take a tiny little flat brush in that same shade and I'm just gonna go underneath my eye. I love smoking out my waterline. It's like my favorite part of doing my makeup. I think it makes me look like a little rock star girlfriend. I'm taking that brown and then I'm smoking it outwards so I have this little wing going on. And I'm also gonna bring that up onto the lash line. Also quickly, before I forget, I'm gonna highlight. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury wand for this. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this Benefit Cookie Highlighter and go over top very gently to where I put the other highlighter. I'm gonna take some shimmer and I'm gonna put it on my inner corners. <gasps> no! What the fuck? What even? Bro, is that lip liner? No! Time for me to do some eyeliner. I use the Benefit Roller Liner. Absolutely nailed both of these wings and they're literally identical. Everything's going my way today. Everything is gonna work out for me. I'm manifesting it really by saying all of this. Today I'm gonna be using the NYX Shine Loud and this one is, what color are you, babe? Not gonna tell me. Gold Crusher? I don't know if that's the shade, but this is what she looks like. I am so excited for this music video and I absolutely cannot wait for you all to see it. I hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me. This is our final, final look. If you did enjoy it, oh my God, I've been looking at the viewfinder this whole time. Be so f for real. It's fine. It's totally okay. I just love myself. I'm a Leo. I've been staring at myself the whole time. I'm so beautiful. What do you expect me to do? Not look at me. <laughs> Be f for real. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and a comment Let me know if I should make more long-form videos I'm so sorry that this took me literally two years to even make one singular video I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you